Bloodless medicine and surgery refers to medical care that does not use blood transfusions. A blood transfusion means giving donated blood or blood components to a patient through a narrow tube inserted into a vein in the arm. They're generally used to replace blood that's lost due to injury, illness, or surgery. But many patients decline transfusions. Jehovah's Witnesses decline them for religious reasons. Others can't have them for medical reasons. And in some parts of the world, people don't have access to them at all. To accommodate all of these patients, bloodless medicine and surgery clinicians use many different techniques and three overall strategies to avoid blood transfusions. The first strategy is to make sure the patient loses as little blood as possible throughout their care. The second strategy is to help the patient's body make the best use of the oxygen in the bloodstream. Oxygen is extremely important to how our vital organs work and heal. The third strategy is to screen patients for anemia when a patient doesn't have enough red blood cells and treat it before going any further. Bloodless medicine and surgery is a safe and effective approach to medical care. With careful planning, many surgical and medical procedures can be performed and avoid the use of blood transfusion. Some of these surgical procedures include joint replacement surgery, cardiac surgery, gynecological surgery, and neurosurgery, just to name a few. If you're considering a bloodless approach, it's very important to determine the non-blood treatment options you are willing to accept. It is equally important to find experienced practitioners and discuss your treatment plan with them in detail. You may want to ask them how long they've been doing bloodless medicine and surgery, how many patients they've treated, and what specific strategies they use. If you're not satisfied or comfortable with their answers, be ready to seek help elsewhere. Your care team should be able to answer all of your questions, help you every step of the way, and, just as important, treat your wishes with the utmost respect.